on Sailing Catalpa, we celebrate Mother's Day with the best mummy in the world. Plus, Dad greases up his nipple and we receive some new parts for our windlass. Anyway, this is the box from Tasmania, which contains our gearbox and motor. And we have another box, which contains our gypsy. And we have another box, which contains our solenoid. We yet to open it all up and see if it all works. But, uh, fingers crossed and we're waiting on one parcel which didn't quite get there in time. It missed it by 24 hours. Which is a manual override handle which Doug's made up and a few bits and pieces and deck switches so we can have forward and reverse on the uh, anchor winch. But it's here and we are just so excited because I will have a Lee's just around. been wanting to know if it's going to work or not. Looks the we'll same make to it me. work. I think we'll make it work. Just a stud configuration. I've got an actual adapter plate I've got to put on, which I'll show you after. But uh, I've just got to remove this plate, get rid of that, I don't need it, and we've got an adapter plate that goes on here. And it's the same stud configuration, so that's... We'll see how we go when we uh, pull this off. Thank you, Doug's dad. Thank you. So long, long story. I suppose we've got to start the story somewhere along the line. Start but, the um, story, babe. I might as well start it. So this unit has come from Tasmania. This was actually a spare winch Doug bought for his father, um, just because his father has a spare for everything, apparently, and even a spare windlass. So that's he's a smart sort of, man. That's the sort of cruiser he is. He's yeah, he's a bit smarter than us, but anyway. They cruised when they were young, when Doug was, uh, I think, Taj's age. Uh, he had a brother and a sister too. And they travelled around Australia on ferro cement boat as ours. So, yeah, he's followed along and found it quite interesting watching our story and said he's seen an opportunity where he felt that he could actually help us um, and help us in a big way he has. That'll so, be Doug. <laughs> he's just that little he's dingle. Actually, Texting like, us at the he'll moment. He'll be because I just sent him the photo that we've got this, so he'll be so curious. And now I can't find my phone. Um, yep. I just sent him a photo. Yeah, of us with the boxes. <laughs> so, um, sorry, so I interrupted you. Doug rudely interrupted us as we're explaining about what <laughs> Doug's done for us here. And, um, yeah, he's been following our travels and. We've been actually talking there. for a little while on Facebook because he sent us a he sends us pictures of of when he was um and I'll I'll put some on the video he sent some pictures of of their boat when he was a kid and travelling around and just his stories and so yeah he's been we've been talk, chatting into him for a little while and we he really felt like he just wanted to help we, he saw that we're stuck he he knew what it was all about he had situations like this when he was a kid and. And he said, you know, just from the goodness of his heart, he just wanted to help us out. So we are so appreciative, Doug. You're an absolute legend. Your whole family has just helped us, and we, we can't thank you enough. We have really, truly appreciate everything that you've done. And you got it to us here in Timor Leste. And you know how much this has cost us? 40, no, what was it? 30, 45 Australian. Yeah, 40. 45 Australian dollars. Yeah. So unbelievable. Everything lined up so that someone could bring it over in the plane for us again like our generator it just you know the universe aligned the stars aligned and we're 90 only... percent there yeah we're well, just we're missing one make box. sure this plate fits but i'm sure if it doesn't i can make it fit but not only has he supplied uh the gearbox and the motor um he supplied us with a new solenoid which has just come from Mer, uh, which is down in tasmania too so we've got a solenoid now which will wire up so that we've actually got forward and reverse. This makes it a little bit easier if Sarah's to put the anchor down as opposed to letting it free fall. Save uh, uh, it's a bit safer. Safer. Um, And on top of that, Doug noticed yes. our chain wasn't right <laughs> and we actually had the wrong gypsy. So he's organised a new gypsy for us too. Oh, it's beautiful. 
it's uh, I don't know actually, anything yeah, about gypsies, but I've had a slight started. modification done. It's had the uh, chrome pulled off there, and it's it's had this taken down seven mil. Um, now what these lugs are for, I wasn't aware of, but that's for a manual override. So Doug is actually a engineer slash machinist slash Legend. a bit of everything in the mechanical world. So. Um, he knows his shit, ladies he and knows gentlemen. His shit. <laughs> <laughs> we should actually have a manual override, which we didn't, which here does. And when back in the day, he used to actually make up all the handles and whatnot for the Merwinches. So that's the other parcel that we're waiting on. So Doug's actually made us up some um, wood rough keys that go into our shaft that actually lock the gypsy and the capstone on. What I'm doing here is. Uh... Uh, using a forge or chuck and I've got to dial it in so I'll get close and uh, see what I'm trying to do is make sure that this bit is running true to the um, to everything <laughs> here we go guys uh, right nothing's happening right at the moment turn the load on what I'm doing here is uh, just face it off get basically the end of it square so, uh, what I call part that off hopefully it uh, comes up alright and it might be a bit of a weird noise. It's basically cutting off about a quarter inch of that um, that bar to give you uh, thickness of your teeth. It made us a manual override handle. So yeah, big thank you, Doug. So we'll yes. just hopefully get all this to work and yeah. And yeah. we just got, yeah, so his parcel, everything arrived in Darwin and we got a call from our friends here in Timor Leste and they said, hey, we've got someone we know that is getting on a plane on Thursday, blah, blah, blah. Um, and we were like, oh, fantastic. But one box hadn't arrived. So what we did, we, we thought, well, regardless, we'll get everything else here, which was the heavy stuff, which we thought was going to be a bit of a trouble getting here. So we got all that here. Um, with a, a great bloke we, we've never met, but you're our legend too. He's a doctor here that works in Timor and we're really grateful for you having trouble because we know you caused some trouble in customs. So thank you so much for that. Um, yeah, just everything has gone really smoothly. So we've got that one more parcel that arrived the next day. Can you believe it? But it did. And uh, now we've just got to get that over and we'll be sweet. But Lee's got some work to do. Just our biggest problem is whether our adapter plate fits on there. But we're Can you go and get it and see. make sure? Let's check this out. Well, without doing the job, this is off our old one. I've just sat this over the top and I can see that all the uh, studs or all the bolts line up. So I'm just going to have to remove this plate keep this lip seal in place and place it into here. Good work. So, um, in saying that, just looking at it, I, it's going to work, I would say, guessing. We'll see no more once I start on it. So this is our new motor, new gearbox. This is our old motor, old gearbox. So inside the gearbox, that was obviously the worn out teeth. Um, what needs to happen though is this here is the adapter plate so I have to I'll be keeping this out of the old stuff so we'll put that with our new stuff um, so these bolts here will be removed and if all goes right this here will be our adapter plate this is our old gypsy which is designed for a long link chain and we've got our new one for the short link so I'll be switching that out so pretty much the only thing we'll be, be keeping is the uh, capstan and the shaft and the rest of that will just be thrown away and that should have us with a new gearbox, new motor, new gypsy and old capstan, old shaft but 90% of it's real uh, new so there we go so first problem when I've just assembled this roughly is this needs about 5 mil clearance here so you, you can get a few threads on no biggie I should just be able to cut this sleeve down 5 mil is what it is and that'll lock on and tighten up properly it's only just got a couple of threads so I'd like a few more threads first problem 
I'm lucky you're a problem solver. It actually needs, this is actually needs sleeving out in the middle. It's actually a little bit loose, but it's sitting on um, the top hat and the comb piece squares it up. So it'll be right for now, but at some stage I'll have to get a sleeve made for it. So I've actually got a, I don't have another gasket obviously, so I've just got to be really slow and take my time here. Um, I don't want to damage this gasket because I want to reuse that and I obviously don't want to damage this lip seal which uh, keeps all the oil inside here. Right. Oh, beautiful. So there we have it. The lip seal in here I'll have to reuse. Um, so I'll have to remove that and just have a look. Yeah, oh, one did not look like that inside. So. <laughs> That, I reckon, looks pretty close. It's going to work. It's unreal. So I couldn't find exactly what this was. Doug just said it's a very thick, oily sort of like grease almost. So I've just removed the lip seal from here. Now this here will be disregarded. And this is our adapter plate. So I'll just have to get our new lip seal in here which is going to fit and uh, put it back together um, he's just very good with his hands yeah you are but, uh, we'll get this back together in a minute but I've got the lip seal back in here so now it's just a matter of reassembling it I've just got to check the stud configuration that comes through the, the deck and uh, I'd say it's going to fit Next, all I'll do is uh, I'll get those leads out and I'll test the power. Just thought I'd test this motor out before we actually install it. So I'll just throw the negative on here. Um, so I've got two here, which will be forward and reverse. So we'll start with this one. Okay, so we're going clockwise now. She's working. Beautiful. What have we got? Reverse too. Any clockwise. Bit of torque there. Nice. Well, that's it. We have an anchor winch. So we're just putting our uh, terminals on here. So I just put them on, give them a little crimp, and I've been giving them a little bit of solder too, just to seal them up because they're only copper. They're not tin wire. A um, little bit of heat shrink over them, and there you go. Ready to uh, install from our motor to our solenoid unit. All sealed up. Hopefully minimise the corrosion. So we're going ashore today. We're actually going out with our friends Joe and Brian and the kids and uh, we're going to go to a beach, see some stuff around Dilly and um, yeah, just get off the boat. We're pretty excited about that. So should be a good day. Today was a fun day, but also a bit stressful, getting chased by a dog and swimming nervously in crocodile waters. But all in all, it was a great day with our friends. So we're just sitting here with our friends, Joe and Brian. Hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Having a very nice time. Having some drinks. Cheers, Team Oleste. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So we're just walking over to the shopping centre. We just went to the workshop where there, there's machinists. And, so there's um, uh, about five or six lathes in there. Very little, actually, no English. No English. They spoke Bahasa though, which we know a little yeah. bit, but not enough to kind of really know that they understood so we got our friend Mayra to um, thanks Maisie 
for so just for to make sure out. that they actually did understand. So yeah. she clarified, yes, they understand what we're we're saying yeah. to them. So it's a bit hard though because she didn't have a clue what we were talking about. So yeah, <laughs> it's just a bit a, pretty much just needed a little sleeve made for our um, gypsy. Yeah. And a little um, little little modification here and there with it. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, it all goes to plan. Yeah, it should good. do. I it feel is. good. I feel like they understand. They so. said, um, there was one guy who came in the end and he really knew what Lee was talking about. So that's promising and we can pick it up tomorrow. It's going to yep. cost 80 US dollars. So we're laughing. Yep. No, no worries at all. All good. All right, so we're back ashore today. We're going to go um, pick up our anchor winch and see uh, how the boys went in the factory with their machine work. <laughs> Just pick up our windlass and uh, Lee's really happy with the job. So. Yep, done a good job. So here's the sleeve that we got made up here. So it's like about a 3mm sleeve. And the top hat section here didn't actually sit in properly so they shaved the edge down for me. So that sits nice and flat. They did a brilliant job. So we're in action again. We're just waiting for two wood rough keys, which Doug's got waiting in Darwin for us. And we're awaiting somebody that's coming over um, by plane. So it's sort of like a new old gypsy. It's a new motor, new gearbox, new gypsy. The only thing that's old is the shaft and uh, the capstone. All the important parts are new. Yep. So that's where we're at. So now we're just gonna sit it out and wait for our next next parcel. But if you happen to ever get stuck here in Timor Leste, there is a machinery. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Machinery. Machine shop next to We don't know. Shopping centre. <laughs> Blue Gates. We could probably direct you. We thought that may be a bit of a hassle, but it actually worked out really well. So we got a couple of scratches. Cost 70 US. I think it was two hours work for them. So it's about six o'clock in the morning and um, our parcels were supposed to arrive yesterday but the, <laughs> the girl that was bringing it, her plane got a flat tyre and she's ending up staying in Darwin for longer. Um, so we were going with plan B which was Joe and Brian's friends' relatives. So we're meeting them at their flight arrives this morning at 6.35. So we're heading there now in the dark, hoping that the gate is open and hoping that we can get there in time in a taxi. <laughs> Wish us luck. Where we go? We left the kids aboard. So we're uh, sitting waiting at the airport. We don't know the people that are coming and bringing our parcel, but I have a photo. So I'll have to keep our eyes over these people. <laughs> nah, not them. You see them? Don't know who I'm looking for, but I'm keeping my eye out for someone. Police compound is where we leave our boat. It's nice and safe, we think. And it's falling apart. Yeah, a bit low this morning. <laughs> Still afloat. For now, anyway. Isn't it a beautiful morning? <laughs> Nasty mama's going to scare them. Children are awake. Why are they awake? I literally 
because mum jumped at the hatch on it. We've uh, been making water on Katalpa. We've never actually tested our water quality. So we've had the water maker for a year now and I just wanted to get an idea what the uh, levels of salt were like in it. We can't taste any, so I'm assuming they're still good, but this fella here should uh, give us an indication of what's going on with our water. Grandma hasn't been gone that long, but has already sent us a parcel full of goodies. You, Mama, <laughs> we have chia seeds. Yeah. Chia seeds. And. Quinoa. 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 Oh, what have we got here, Taj? Oh. A prescription mask and Sunny's for Taj. And even got some of Taj's latest design shirts. Thanks, Granddad and Grandma. <laughs> Chocolate! I didn't even have to alter these. These little um, wood rough keys that Doug made up, they uh, just like fit straight gym. on. Like a Snug gym. fit. They don't just need a little tap in. They don't quite fit, but perfect. Just a snug fit, what we wanted. That's what we're waiting for. I'll just have to, oh, it's like a half a mil. Might just... So, uh, Doug was close. He got the actual fit right. I think he was about half a mil out on our height. So I've just had to file that down a little bit. So, it's all good. Are you playing with those nipples again? Beautiful set of nipples. Nice stainless steel ones. So we've got our Mua deck switch, which is a Tasmanian company, but this one comes from New Zealand, so this will be mounted on the deck. The... Oh, you keep the one we've got and then you put that one in as well? Yeah, so you go up oh, and down. Oh, I thought that was going to replace it, no? No, no. So we have another one, so we have up and down now. Ah, so, so you have to drill a hole. Into the... I gotta put grease up my shaft first and insert this into the deck and then... And then play with your nipples. Dad got it all together and... Oh my gosh. <laughs> so join us next episode as we finally pull the anchor and leave Dilly. Yes, that's right ladies and gentlemen, we leave Dilly and head to a beautiful island for some diving. Yay! Hi guys, that was episode 95. Thank you so much for watching. Really, really big thank you to everybody that helped out with this anchor winch. Doug, been really big thanks to you first up. Yeah, and all the people that got our, our parcel, either received it in Darwin for us or transferred it to somebody um, or helped us get in contact with someone that could bring it over. There was a lot of people that helped us and yeah. we just are really appreciative of, of all of you. Yeah, the many hands that it went through. Yeah. It finally got there and uh, we got the job done. So you all know who you are. Um, Joe and Brian in Timor Leste in Dili. Thank you so much for your help. From Doug's father Doug, yeah, to his Doug's brother. Father to, to Doug's brother Robert in Darwin. You were a massive help as well, mate. Thank you. Thank you to Les, Leslie and Sam also. Yeah, in Darwin, in Darwin you guys yeah. were a big help um, and have offered to help in the future too. So we really appreciate it. To all of you, thank you so much. We are finally on our way again and we couldn't be more stoked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so if you want to see where we actually are right now in real time, you can follow us on our social media. Instagram, down below, Facebook. At Sailing Catalpa. Uh, we post regularly on there so you can see what we're up to. Also, if you want to become a patron or see what pa being a patron is all about, you can head to our Patreon page. If you want to know more about that, the link is down below as well. Yeah. Also, if you want to look as cool as Lee right now and get one of our t-shirts, Sailing Catalpa, then the link is down below as well. Check them out! Yeah! <laughs> but we just want to say... Big thank you. So much thank yous. And we'll see you next time. See you then. It all comes all thanks to you all. All thanks to y'all.